Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is King David. Make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that like button, comment, and let him know I sent you. Hey, he just dropped a new banger called It's Murder. Make sure y'all go check it out. The link will be down in the comment section. It's, it's, it's murder on these streets. So I alert you, keep your heat. It's, it's, it's murder on these streets. So I alert you, keep your heat. Certified step, I'm the leader of this age shit. Let's get into it. Day one of Young Dolph case revealed a lot. They showed us unseen footage of the shooting. They let us know that Cornelius Smith was shot while shooting and killing Young Dolph. Now this video right here shows Cornelius Smith testifying that him and Justin Johnson, AKA Straight Drop, was the one that shot and killed Young Dolph. He also confirmed that Yo Gotti brother Big Juke was the one that put the $100,000 hit on Dolph. He also explained step by step from the beginning to the end what happened the day Young Dolph was killed. Hello, Mr. Smith, tell me your name. Cornelius Schmidt. And spell the first name? C O R N E L I U S. And the last name? S M I T H. Right. Now there's a microphone next to you to your right. But you don't have to worry about it. Church. You can look out toward me, keep your voice up, so I can hear you back here, okay? Yes, sir. And when I ask the question, or when the defense attorney asks the question, or the judge asks the question, um, you've got to verbalize your answer, okay? So shaking the head and everything, I know that, I know what it means. Yes, sir. But she's taking down what you say, and yes, so when you, like that. Yes, All right? Uh, how old are you? 34. Where are you from? I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. What neighborhood? Like, on my area. Okay. Like, what, what streets uh, did you grow up on? I was Lamar and Sims. All right. Uh, you got a family? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I have five children still living. I lost my son in March of 2020. Okay. And uh, let's talk about 2020 because well, that was a terrible thing, right? Yes, sir. How old was he? He was nine at the time. And that had an impact on everybody? Yes, sir. Had an impact on you? Yes, sir. It caused you to take up some old habits? Yes, sir. I went back to popping pills and not caring about nothing. So before 2020, were you working? I worked in schools in Germantown. What'd you do for the schools in Germantown? In Germantown. Did you do good at that job? Yes, sir. Your son dies and you say you start popping pills. Yes, sir. Oxycodone, it's... Street drugs. Yes, sir. Did you start hanging back in your neighborhood? Uh, yes, sir. Start hanging around a lot, of, a lot of old friends. All right. Some of those old friends trouble? We are all trouble. I'm going to say that. We are all trouble. And I'm looking here, uh, Cornelius, at your criminal record. You were convicted of aggravated assault in 2011. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Convicted of misdemeanor drugs in 2014. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. 2012. 12. Case started in 2011 and ended in 2012. Yes, sir. As misdemeanor drugs. Yes, sir. And then resisting official detention in 2014. Yes, sir. That same Cornelius Smith. Yes, sir. And you're presently charged in this case with conspiracy to commit murder and with, with murder. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Um, and you have an attorney in this case. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And uh, is he in the courtroom? Let me get out of your yes, way. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, what promises have I made to you with regard to your testimony today? 
No. Well, I told you that you're not going to testify and walk out of here. Yes, you told me that. Do you know that you're going to prison? Yes, sir. Have I told you that it's very important, though, for you to tell the truth? Yes, sir. I told you it's important to tell the truth. Because I said so? Yes, sir. And because the judge will evaluate whether I told the truth? Right. And have I told you it's in your best interest to tell the truth? Yes, sir. Are you here to tell the truth? Yes, sir. I want to skip forward. Okay, we're going to go back to everything, but I want to skip forward. <clears throat> Tell me about the day that you were arrested for this case. Uh, it was my daughter's birthday, actually. And, uh, I was out. I had two cups of cake and ice cream school for her birthday. And the U.S. Marshals had, they were trailing me the whole time. I didn't know. They were trailing me because I had saw a go band the next the day before, and he was telling me that you know the police was on to us or whatever. And he asked me when the last time I spoke to Justin, and he was saying I was like it been a minute, so he was like they just ran in Justin spot the night before, and uh he said that they they been shooting at him, and that uh that I need to get rid of my phone. Cause they own us. And next day, I was locked up. Like, police still. Police got you. Know me. Police got you there that day? Next day. Uh, did they get your phone that day from you? They didn't get it from me. I left it with my children's mother. Whatever. They get your phone from your children's mother? Yes, sir. So you didn't throw it away like Govan told you to? No, I ain't throw it away. I gave it to her. Oh. Now, when the police first arrest you, I mean at the very start, you say, hey, I want to tell you the truth about this whole thing? Uh, no. Uh, I ain't no PD. Okay. You, did they interview you right after they arrested you? Yeah, they, they interviewed me in BC. Okay. Did you tell them the truth or a lie? I told them a lie. Okay. At some point after you're arrested, did you decide to tell the truth? Yeah, once I came to my senses and uh, and Justin had uh, wrote me a kite. Somebody, Justin, Justin, come with me. Tell you when when you hear another lawyer speak up and object, it means you stop talking. Okay, and you'll be instructed to either move on or to another question. Okay. And I think. Uh, so the objection is going to be here. It's here, say. Uh, so well, let me let me try to get you. Uh, well, let's try to back up, okay? So you said after you arrested, you came to your senses. Right. Is that correct. All right. And you say that Justin is that the defendant in this case? Yes, sir. Had written you something that you called a a kite. A kite. Okay. Without saying what was in that kite, and that's a letter. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Without saying in that letter, after you received that letter, did you decide to tell the truth? Right. Uh, and what did you do once you decided to tell the truth? Uh, I had spoke with my lawyer. I had spoke to my lawyer. Uh, and thereafter, have you met a few times with detectives? Yes. And have you met the count? There's two minutes right back here, I guess three or four times with me, is that correct? Yes. Would it be fair to say you did that because you realized you had been caught? Yeah, I've been caught and you know, I got a conscience too. Now they don't know where my sense. Yeah, I got a conscience. Gonna play a video up here, Cornelius. You can uh, turn a little bit to see it once we start playing.
for the record, you're playing what's been we'll marked as, or will be marked as um, exhibit number five. Listen, we'll start it right there. All right, Ms. what are we looking at? Well, uh, that's the day that we had saw Young Dolphin and Pulley and Makita's. All right, so whose car is that? It's Young Dolphin's car. All right, and you say we, who, who saw this car? Me and Jessica. Well, let's back up then and tell me, how do you know Justin? Oh, uh, through Govan. All right, and who is Govan? A name is Govan Quick. You know him by Quick. Okay, who is Quick? Uh, Soshi. All right, you say associate. is he younger or older than you? Older. Uh, what neighborhood is he hanging out in? Orange Mountain. Does he live over there? Yes, sir, he did. Do you know what street his house is on? Oh, uh, great. Uh, are you familiar with that street? Yes, sir. Uh, did you ever buy drugs from Mr. Govan? Yes, I bought ecstasy. Okay, would he sell you ecstasy pills? Uh, you ever heard the, the term like old head? Nah. Okay. Would you consider him sort of a older criminal figure in the neighborhood? Yeah, I caught him like a bro, like a bro. Okay. Uh, did you have another guy in that neighborhood you used to hang out with too? Yeah, Big Bobby. Big Bobby. Is that Bobby Carter? Bobby Carter, yes, sir. Uh, how often would you be over there on Bradley Street? I thought that you about every day. Okay. So this is a hangout area, and you would buy ecstasy from Quit. Quit. Uh, how is it that you met Justin through Quit? Oh, just no like being around, basically being around. Would Justin be around Quet too? Yeah, he'd be around Quet. Do you know why Justin would be around Quet? They, they leave each other like brothers, like brothers, okay. and then just a rapper or whatever. All right, you knew Justin to be a rapper. Yeah. Did you know his, his rap name? Straight Drop. And did you know Quet to be involved in, I guess, the rap business or something? God, he's still. Okay. How do you feel? What, what sort of would he call himself as far as being in the business? I guess a negotiator. I don't know. A negotiator? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know whether or not he was trying to negotiate for a straight drop? He is trying to get him a deal. Okay. Do you know who he is trying to get him a deal with? Oh, Big Joke and him. Got him. All right. You said Big Joke, is that correct? Yeah. You ever heard of the music label? CMG? Yeah. Is that Big Jokes? Yeah, Big Jokes. And his brother, right? Yeah. His brother's Gotti, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Before this day, which is in November of 2021, about how long had you been knowing Justin? Oh, three months. A few months. About how many times do you think you'd been around him? Uptown, we went to club together. No, uh, we've been around each other a couple times. Okay. Uh, and for the record, I know that it's a formality, but for the record, can you point him out in the courtroom and tell me what he's wearing and stuff? Yeah, the young brother over there with the, uh, the button down shirt, blue and white button down shirt. If the record could reflect that he's identified the defendant, Mr. Justin Johnson, Your Honor. Let the re record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant in court. So how did you get to be with Justin Johnson this day on November 17th, 2021? Oh, uh, we, we knew that, you know, they had a hit on uh, Dolphin on head or whatever, so. Who had a hit on whose head? Big Jug had, had a hit on Dolphin head or whatnot, so. How do you know that Big Jug had a hit on Dolphin head? Ah, uh, because Quit had told me about it, Quit, and you know what I'm saying, being just. How much money was it supposed to be? 100000 on Dolphin head. And had you agreed to do this hit? Yes, sir. Had Justin agreed to do this hit? Yes, sir. We all gonna do it together? Yeah, they, they been on it, but yeah. What was, was there any arrangements as far as splitting the money or anything? Yeah, uh, me, him, and uh, we, me and him supposed to be giving quit 10,000 a piece. All right, so you and him are gonna give Govan Ten thousand a piece. Yeah. And how much are you going to get? I was getting forty. He was getting forty. Uh, 
Had you spoken with Justin about this? Yeah, we had, we had, we talked about it. Okay. This was not something that just happened this day, but something that was in the process for weeks? Yeah, we... How did y'all hook up this day, if you remember? Yeah, it pulled up to get me. He came and got me or whatever. Where'd he get you from? He got me from my father's house. Where's your father's house? Up Lamar Singles. Orange Mound area? Yeah. Had either you called him or he called you or anything like this? He called me first time I missed the call. Then he called me back, I answered. He was telling me basically they were pulling up because we already knew what was going on. You already, when you say you already knew what was going on, you already knew that this is about? Yeah, because we knew they were doing the turkey drive, so we were actually on our way to Westwood. Had you and Justin talked about this particular day before? Like, nah, not the specific day. Like, we just knew that it was turkey drag on every day that we, we okay. just knew it. You knew that, the fair said, you knew Dolph was involved in these turkey drives this week before Thanksgiving. Yeah, we didn't know we were going to catch him, but we knew we, that his artist, you know, everybody had a hit on the game. Everybody had a price on the game. From Joke? Yeah, from Joke. And that was going to be y'all's business this week? Yeah, that was happy. When he arrived at the house, do you remember what he was driving? Oh, white Mercedes Benz. Okay, had you, had you seen that car before? I ain't no sorry car. Did you get in the car with him? Yeah, I got in. Was there anybody else in the car? No, it was just me and just. Uh, were there any guns in the car? Yeah, they was on a big seat in the bed. Do you remember what kind of guns they were? A Draco handgun. Okay, and Draco, Memphis, some type of Bigger semi-automatic weapon, is that right? <coughs> and then a handgun. Do you remember what you were uh, wearing that day? I had on some gray suede pants, orange and white uh, Jordan one, and a that. blue gap hoodie. A blue gap hoodie? With a do-rag on. With a do-rag on. Did y'all have, uh, y'all have gloves? I had my own gloves. You had your own gloves? Yeah. When you, when you got in the car, did you have your gloves on? No, I ain't had gloves on. Uh, you said Justin had his own gloves? Yeah, he had gloves on. Black gloves. He had his, his black gloves on before he picked you up? Yeah. Uh, does he get out of his car and pick you up, or do you go up to the car? Nah, no, I, I, got, I got out the house, came out the house, uh, got on in the car. Okay. Off to do the mission. It do, do we should try to catch somebody. Try to catch one of the rappers? Yeah, one of them. At the turkey drive in Westwood? In Westwood. All right. What happens if y'all get in the car? Oh, we went back on Bradley Street. We got some out of, uh, I think that was like a uh, expedition truck that he had parked on Bradley Street. And then we took the back street. We was at Lamar Airways. We had the light. So he picks up, let me get this right. He picks you up in the Mercedes, is that right? Yeah. Uh, but you go to Bradley Street. Sure. Yeah. And is there an expedition already there? Yeah, expedition already there. Paul and Do you know who parked that expedition there? I guess he did. Okay, but we don't, we're, not, we're not allowed to guess in here. Ah, well, okay. so nah, I ain't seen him park it though. Okay. Uh, and what color was it? White. A white expedition. Yeah, white. Uh, did y'all do anything when y'all went to Bradley Street at that point? He got some at the truck and then jumped back in the car. I got you. So he gets out of the Mercedes of Bradley Street, goes into the expedition and gets something. Yeah. And comes back. Do you know what he got? I don't know. Uh, are y'all talking at this point? Nah, we, we weren't talking. Like, he was on the phone at first, then he hung it up. But we weren't talking about We weren't talking about okay. Now, y'all were cool with each other, is that right? You and Justin? God. He gets back in the white Mercedes? Yeah, he gets back in the white Mercedes. We take the back street and get you and stuff to, to uh, we was at Lamar and Airway. We finished get on Spreadway, going to a Spreadway. Okay. Bradley to Dedrick, is that what you said? Yeah. And then y'all are going to get on the expressway? Yeah, we finna get on Spreadway on Airways. Okay. But when, and this is Airways that we see. Yeah, it's Airways. 
Okay. Uh, what happens once y'all get to Airways? We hit the light. Y'all can come clean across the light. How'd you know? How'd y'all know it was off? Everybody know, you know, hey, Kai, you know, on the T pods and stuff. Yeah. People in Memphis knew about that wrap, right? Yeah. That camouflage white and green and blue wrap. That surprised you? See him like that? Yeah. Did you say anything or did Justin say anything? He was like, here goes dog right now. All right, what did y'all do? We received the trailer. Received right. the trailer. So y'all are following him on airways? Yeah, right over, right over the street. And you saw the first part of this video, didn't you? Did you see him pull off here to the cookie store? He pulled in the cookie store. What'd y'all do? We made the block. Made the block. Came with the bag way. I ain't with the bag way. I jumped out. Started shooting. All right. Well, let's back up here, though. We saw him pull off of airways <coughs> to here. Is that right? Yeah. Y'all, can you see my little pointer? Yeah. Y'all be traveling this direction on airways. Is that right? right. Then did y'all do a crazy U-turn or anything, or what'd y'all nah, do? Nah, nah, we came, we came with the Big Street. Okay. Came with the Big Street. Following the clickers, is this what y'all did? Yeah. Okay. We went to the light, made the loop around. Did you see him get out of his car like this? Nah, I ain't seen him get out of the car. Okay. Say so, y'all. Yeah, it is a little right though. Stop it here. It's me. Do something. All right. We're gonna back up. I'm not wanted to. Yeah, back up a little bit. All right. First guy out of the car. Who's that? It's me. That's you. Which one of the guns do you have? I got the little trickle stab. Okay, that's that semi-automatic weapon. Is that right? Yeah. You ever shot that thing before? I know. No. Okay. You can proceed, Arch. That's your gap hoodie, is that right? It is me. That's you, who are you shooting at? No. Alright, now back it up again, uh, Miss Iris, if you would. Back it up for Justin getting out of the car. All right, who's the second person here, the guy on the driver's side? It just... He's got the uh, smaller handgun, is that right? Yeah, bad, 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 bad baseball, hey, bad pro baseball. You're firing this crazy thing. What you see, what are you feeling? I want to get none of this time, but I ain't gonna be glad, I ain't gonna get the time Trying to get some money. Bet you probably a little wasted on oxycodone and ecstasy. You shot that gun a bunch? Right in there? Right then and there. Yeah, I can tell you how many times that shot out. Aiming for dog? Oh, aiming for dog. Was he able to uh, say anything to y'all, or was he able to run or get away at all? I shot through glass, so I went close up on him, I was shooting through glass. I saw him standing by the window, I just got out of the shooting. I proceed until Justin shoots. There, with the handgun. Who's that? It just... All right, you proceed. I can stop right here. 
Dahl's brother, Marcus. Did you know that he shot back at y'all? I ain't noticed until we pulled up. There was a bullet hole in my side window. Oh, I told Jasmine, I'm crying, I'm hit. He was like, I'm hit too. So I see, I'm hit back right on my leg, and I see a bullet hole in my sweater. <laughs> so we driving out, he was saying he was hit. I'm telling him, making sure we on Rick, making sure he's straight. I'm like, you all right? Like, yeah, I'm straight. I'm straight. Bullet head went in my arm. It was a bullet in my back. Let's, I'm going to back up. Uh, you and Justin here are running to the white Mercedes. Is that right? All right. You get in what side of the car? I get on the passenger side. And Justin gets back in the driver's side? Yeah, he gets back in the driver's side. Y'all get in the car. You can watch the rest of the, of the video here. Did y'all see Marcus getting a second gun from his car? No, nah, uh -huh. but when we pulled out and, and I knew it was shots back, I was finna shoot back, but there were too many cars coming and I didn't just want to eat no any bad, so I ain't shoot back. Because Marcus was shooting at y'all as y'all were leaving from down here, is that right? Yeah. Uh, and you would be in the car at this point? Yeah, we was in the car. Looking backwards? Yeah, I, I was looking back, but we, we like how we were driving, like how he was driving, he was all the way on the other side, but you no, know, so I ain't want to just shoot back. So the shots, all the shots that you fired were the ones we saw right here uh, with Dolph, is that right? Yeah. Uh, and Justin too? Yeah. All right, so y'all didn't shoot back at Marcus as y'all were nah, driving? Shoot back at him. You, uh, Say you got shot in the shoulder? Yeah, I got to get my shoulder in my, in my upper arm. In the upper arm, shoulder area, and your, on my leg. your right and, and your leg. And you realize you had been shot once you got in the car? Yeah, once I got in the car. Um, could you still have uh, a scar from when you got shot uh, in the arm? Is that right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Mark, I have him step down just let this to the jury real quick. Oh, All right, you and Justin jump back in the car. You've been hitting the shoulder, uh, my feet. and in the leg. Justin may or may not have been hit, but said yeah, something. Yeah, got scraped on your back. Scraped on your back. All right, what now? Oh, uh, we went back on Bradley Street. Did y'all go to Bradley Street slow or fast? Nah, we went back fast. Okay, okay. fast. We went fast. We were trying to get caught, so he gave me the keys to the expedition. So he okay, called the beans. Who, who gave you the keys to the expedition? Justin gave me the keys to the expedition. Okay. So I moved the truck out of the way. And he pulled the beans in the yard. So the, the expedition was it parked in the driveway of Bradley? Yeah, we parked in the driveway. And he gives you the keys to the expedition? Yeah. You get inside to move it? Yeah. And then where does he put the Mercedes? He put it like right there with the with expedition in the front yard. Okay, so the front driveway area of, yeah. of Bradley, is that right? Right. Uh, what do you do next? Oh. Uh, we jumped in the expedition. We were going our way to the gas station with FaceTime Juke. They don't know if they were loud working. Who FaceTime Juke? Just had FaceTime Juke. We're spitting out dog. You know what I'm saying? Let them know what he did. And let's back that up. You say, let him know what y'all's work. <clears throat> right. Uh, and you said you spelled, somebody spelled out Dolph. Who yeah. spelled out Dolph? Just spelled out Dolph. When you say Juke. spelled out Dolph, what do you mean? I like did. Sign language. Uh, with the yeah, house sign with, language. Uh, yeah. Like this would be an O? Nah, yeah, I think I don't know how to do it, but okay. you know, something like that. All right, so there was some sign and then y'all just took care of y'all. Who's that? Short call, long call? It was short. Uh, did you hear Juke say anything back? Yeah, he'll, he'll get with us when he get done with the kids, like get up one of them. 
he'll get with y'all when I didn't hear that last part. Get up, I get up with, uh, get up, I uh, finish with the kids, or something like that. But he was busy with his kids. Kids, okay, so I'm like, gotcha. Gotcha, but he would get up with y'all after yeah. that. Okay. How are you feeling at this point? You know, I'm hurting but I was shot. Where, where are y'all's guns at this point? Oh, we had them in the backseat of the expedition. Okay, so y'all brought them with you from the Mercedes to the expedition? Yeah. Were y'all still, still wearing your gloves, do you remember? Oh, I don't remember. Okay. So y'all are in the expedition. Uh, the FaceTime call with Jillick has happened. What do y'all do? Where y'all head? What y'all well, saying? We went to the gas station, put some gas in the expedition truck first in the, in the University of Memphis area. Then he was trying to find, Jason was trying to find somebody at the house we go so, you know, we get cleaned up or whatnot. All right. You needed some medical attention or something. Yeah, we, he had Kyle on his partner. Jason had Kyle on his partner to bring me a uh, wound kick, bring us a wound kick or whatever. Do you know who he called? I don't know who he called. Okay. Um, do you have your phone with you during this? Nah, my phone, I had left my phone in the bin, in the safe bin. All right, so when you got in the bins from your house, did you have your phone with you? Yeah, I had my phone. I put it in the glue of the pot. Okay. When you got out to shoot dog like we saw, did you have your phone with you? Nah, it was in the glue department of the bin. Okay. Had you put it in the glove department so that it wouldn't be on you? Yeah, I put it. But you forgot? Yeah, yeah. So when you adjust in the expedition, you don't have your phone, but he has his. Yeah. Is he able to make contact with somebody to figure out <clears throat> how to get stuff or where to go? Oh, he had Kyle one of his cousins. He said, who house we went over in Whitehaven. So we cleaned up, trying clothes or whatnot. And oh, quit had Kyle like, man, y'all got to clean me stuff up. Quit had Kyle. Now like, man, get my phone at the cop. Get my phone at the cop. Leave my phone in the cop. So he was like, all right, we need to move these cops. That's what Quay was saying. So we talked to... Joke right after. Yeah. Uh, but Quet too. Yeah. And do you remember whether or not the conversations with Quet happened before y'all got to his cousin's apartment or after? Yeah, I can't recall. Okay. But it was all close together. Yeah. And tell me again what Quet said during these conversations. Yeah, we had to like get rid of the car. We had to move the car, get rid of it. Because y'all had put this car in a driveway on Bradley, right? Yeah, right across the street from me now. Right across the street from where Quet lives. Right. He said y'all need to move this. Yeah, we gotta get, we gotta burn the engine up. Gotta get rid of it. Y'all were busy trying to get yourselves taken care of, though. Yeah, we, 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 you know, I got, we changed clothes with them. I had whole peroxide on me, wrap myself up, and I had to text my girl to come get me. Takes her the address off of uh, Justin's phone to come give me. And, and let's get there, but you said that Justin had contacted his cousin about going to her place, is that right? Yeah. Uh, is that Kiana Hopper? Yeah. Um, did y'all, in fact, go to her place? Correct. When y'all went to her place, what car were y'all in? We was in the White Expedition. Uh, when y'all get to her place, what do y'all do? Well, we, we need to say chain clothes. And uh, we was in there, she had helped me for a minute before the wound kick came. She was helping me out or whatever, we trying to close. And the wound kick came, I was able to, you know, put bandage on it and stuff like that. Um, I want to show you a video. See that person there? Yeah. Now it's a lot of speculation that Yo Gotti would go down because it was his brother that put the money on Young Dolph's head. And it's a lot of people that feel like Yo Gotti was the one that took out his brother Big Juke because he feel like Dolph murder 
was gonna fall back on CMG and he couldn't risk Big Juke going to jail and telling and taking down what he built. It's also claimed that Yo Gotti had no parts of Dolph murder and never wanted Dolph to die. Y'all get in the comments and tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. I feel like Gotti going to jail when he knew it. So Gotti, which one you going to? Jail or hell? Heaven or hell? Which one you going to, bitch? And anybody that's riding with them unjust ass niggas, unjust ass niggas, jealous ass niggas, hateful, spiteful ass niggas that'll get a nigga killed for a hundred K that's worth a hundred million, is you fucking dumb? You niggas is some dumb ass niggas. Gotti, you deserve every motherfucking thing that comes to you. Your crumbling ass label, your crumbling ass artist, your crumbling ass career. Nigga, you need that 500K. You finna go down like P. Diddy. And I personally feel like Gotti got rid of his own brother because he became a fucking problem. I feel like Gotti got rid of that nigga because he knew that this indictment was finna come down on him. And guess what? A dead man can't motherfucking tell. And I've been saying this shit for the motherfucking longest. Even when I went on that nigga Skull Show, what the fuck did I say? The mob handle they own. And when I say that, I say that the motherfucking say we gonna get rid of your bitch ass before I lose my motherfucking billion dollar empire. I'm gonna get rid of you, brother or no brother. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. If you need promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. $30 for one promo video on my YouTube. $50 for three promo videos on my YouTube. $70 for six promo videos on my YouTube. And $130 for 12 promo videos on my YouTube channel. Make sure y'all tap in and get that promo if you want to win.